name's Diane Bonner and I remarried in 1992 and my husband was, had been a volunteer at uh, Middleton Hall for some years by then and he, uh, he was in charge of the car parking. He was uh, known as the person who could get more cars in the car park than anybody else. And we got married on the Saturday. He was also a bar dance caller, so he was doing a bar dance on the Saturday night. So that was uh, the first step of the honeymoon. And then at, on the Sunday, he was uh, at Middleton Hall, so I came down with him. And that's the first time that I uh, volunteered at Middleton Hall. The first, time, the first day I came down to Middleton Hall, um, I was uh, on the gate collecting the money with a gentleman called Ken Storey. He used to, at one point, lived in one of the cottages at, in the hall. I went with him on the first day I was here, and I've been there ever since, basically, collecting the money. That's, that's, that's what my job is at Middleton Hall just collecting money from uh, people coming in. And we had um, a shed that he'd bought for the hall in memory of his wife. His wife had died and he bought the shed and we had the, which was great. It was just outside the, the gates as so you come up, the, up the, the top of the main drive and it was uh, much warmer than where we collect money at the moment. <laughs> well, I met a lot of, uh, lot of lovely people here and I always enjoyed being outside far more than being inside. Uh, I, I liked the, uh, the nature of the, around the place. And uh, yeah, some of the best times I worked here was on Bank Holiday Mondays when we always had a, a special event and May Day was always the biggest day and um, you would find that the, the cars would be queuing up to come in because there was so, so many people came on, on uh, the May Day and we had the, uh, the Maypole which we still have. Morris dancers came and some Elizabethan dancing was done in the afternoon by one or two of the members of uh, Litchfield Poe and Warsaw folk clubs would come along and do some dances and then people would join in. Uh, there was a, a, always a classic car day on one of the Sundays in July when loads of people brought their classic cars around and we would always dress up. I, I always dressed up in a, in a 20s outfit that I got from uh, being on the stage once, no, not worn by me sadly because I was always a man, but uh, I'd like to see Middleton Hall still surviving in the years to come because it's such a, a lovely, unique place to be and it's not like anywhere else around here and it'd be so sad if it, it didn't manage to survive.